Hey y'all, welcome to this week's What's For Dinner. Um, I'm going to be sharing with y'all three meals that we had recently. And also, I'm very excited because this video is sponsored by Bell Lily. If you haven't heard of Bell Lily, it is an online clothing store. You can order all types of clothing, shoes, um, accessories. Um, it's they have some really good stuff. So I'm very excited um, to be sharing with y'all some of the things um, that they sent me. I will have links down below to each individual item along with the coupon code. I'm going to uh, insert really quickly, I'm gonna insert a little video of the first thing that I'm wearing, which is a dress that they sent me and it is so cute. Um, I wore it to church and I got so many compliments on it. And then when we went to the beach, I also wore it um, taking family uh, photos. So I'm gonna insert that right here. Okay, I hope y'all enjoyed that. So I'm gonna show y'all the first outfit which I am wearing right now. So I am wearing, I ordered shirts. I didn't order any like pants or anything because I have a hard time knowing what size to get because you know, depending on what brand, you just don't know. So I ordered this first shirt and y'all know I love cows. So it has a cow print at the bottom with the white band and then the stripes and then it has this little crisscross design. I think it's very cute, it's very flattering with a little crisscross and it's not too it's not too low cut or anything. I think and it's very very casual. Um it's very um it's not hot. The shirt is not really hot. It's it's very good for the summer. And I just paired it with, let's see y'all, I'm not a model, so <laughs> I just paired it with a pair of shorts that I already had. The next thing is going to be my sandals. Let's see if I can show y'all. So I have these <laughs> leopard looking print or cheetah print, I'm not really sure, um, sandals and they zip here in the back. They are so comfortable and they go so good with shorts. <laughs> and here, let me, I'm gonna take the camera off and show y'all. So anyways, there they are. There are the backs of them that zip. They're very, very comfortable. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all some of the shirts I have. I received this one here that's kind of a, I don't know if you'd call it like a tie-dye print, where it has this, um, this, this, uh, this sleeve on this side is, I don't even know how to explain it y'all. Anyways, that one, this one has like the cold shoulder. It's like a silky material, kind of dressy with this lacy looking shoulders and they're open. I will try that one on for you. I also received this sleeveless one that is similar to this one I have on. This one is actually like a dark blue color, like a navy blue. Has the stripes and then the pretty roses here in pink and then the pink um, block here on the bottom. And this shirt right here, y'all, I just love this. I love the way it fits. I will try it on for y'all, but it's, I don't know if it's sort of an acid wash looking, bleach looking shirt, but it's just really comfortable and I like it. And um, I also got this Duncan Junkie black, just short sleeve t-shirt and it, I just love it. It's really cute. One thing I will not be trying on, but they sent me a swimsuit cover up and I did use this at the beach. It's got like a v-neck and it's like a knit material and it has the little holes in it. So you get coverage, but at the same time, you're not gonna be burning up hot. And then the last thing I got were these sandals. They're similar to what I have on. They zip in the back and yeah. So I'm gonna quickly show you, I'm gonna put on a few of these shirts and show them to you. Okay, y'all, here is the like pink and uh, there's something on here fuzz I don't know it's kind of a, a black color but it's almost like a bleached or a tie-dye look but and it has the v-neck here it's just very comfortable and um, with the shorts I'll kind of tilt it down I think it looks good with the shorts but there's that one and here is this one here it has the sleeves like a little crisscross design on the sleeves and this one is a silky material also to me it is a 
It's a little bit of a thicker material. I don't know. It's not. It doesn't breathe. So this one in the summer, I tried to wear it one day, but I was like, oh, I'm going to feel too hot in it, so I put it away. But this one is actually really long. So you could probably wear this with leggings, and it would be really cute. Um, but there's this one here. Okay, y'all. Here is the next one. This is the silky white one with the flowers on it. And it has this lace design here. Um, the sleeves are like this. It has the little lace design and the cold shoulder. And this one is very cute. I think you could dress this one up with some nice jeans and jewelry. Um, here's how the back of it is. Um, I think it's very cute. And then I also went ahead and put on, I wanted to be able to show you these sandals. And here they are. They're gray. They also zip on the backs, like so. And these are, y'all, both of these are so comfortable. I have worn both pairs. I have worn both pairs, and they are so very comfortable. So, anyways, um, don't forget, if you're interested, not just in the items that I have. I will have each of these individually linked down below. But in any of their items, they have so many cute dresses and blouses and shirts and things and shoes and sandals. And I know for the fall season coming up, there's going to be even more. Which all of these shirts pretty much can be for the fall. I mean, put a jacket over them. Um, so anyways, I will have them linked down below. And I will also have my discount code. So, if you're interested, go check them out. Thank you so much for watching this portion of the video. And thank you, Belle Lily, for sending me, me these very cute... Um, items. Um, and so now, without further ado, let's get to the video. Hey y'all, if I'd show my face. On today's What's for Dinner, this little segment, we are going to make smoked sausage Alfredo skillet dinner. So, I have a pot of water that I'm bringing to a boil. We're going to put some pasta in there. But I have my other pot over here. I'm about to start um, melting some butter and put some onions in. And I'll show you what we have so far, okay? So far, I actually, it calls for one pound of smol smoked sausage sliced up. I had this big package over here that I got from Sam's. It's like two, over two and a half pounds. But, so I ended up doing probably, probably a pound and a half. And then in my little chopper here, I have an onion. Sorry. I have an onion that I diced up. So, we're going to come over here now, and I'm going to get some butter in just a second. Okay, so I got two tablespoons of butter. We're going to put this on medium-high, what? Heat. Okay, y'all, sorry I got interrupted. So, I've got two tablespoons of butter. Actually, I hope that's, yeah, that should be about right. I may add a little more. I'm going to go ahead and add a little more just I added a little bit more butter because I was just kind of guessing. But once I get this all melted, I'm going to add in my onion, which I have one onion that I diced up with my little chopper. Back here, I have some water that I've had. It's starting to boil, and I'm going to add some salt because someone told me to add the salt once it starts boiling. So, I don't know. Okay, we're going to go ahead now. Sorry, y'all. Okay. We're going to go ahead now and add in the onions. I'll turn this up just a little tad. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little salt and pepper to these because I just like to. Okay, we're going to let these saute for about three minutes, is what it said, and then we're going to add in our smoked sausage. So, I'm going to just do that and we'll be back. I cannot remember if I told y'all that I added in the pasta. Um, keep getting interrupted. So, I've got my pasta. I did the shell pasta. We did one pound of it, which is equivalent to two cups. Like I said, we're letting this saute. We're about ready to add in the smoked sausage. Okay, now we're going to add in our smoked sausage. 
and we're going to let this cook. It looks like I almost need more butter, but we'll see. I'm going to let this saute together for a few minutes or so, kind of get all this warmed through. Y'all, I got ahead of myself. Okay, I have this Bartoli's Alfredo sauce that I poured in. I'm about, there's still some in here, but I'm about to get some whipping cream, heavy cream, and add to it and shake this up and add that in there. I had turned it down. I totally forgot to tell y'all. Ooh, this is ruined. I can't use this. I'll have to use milk. Okay. Okay, y'all, I had to use milk because my whipping cream was spoiled. So. I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning. And we're gonna add in the pasta. It said to put, to put mozzarella cheese on it and put it under the broiler but I don't think this pan is oven safe. So we're just gonna stick it on top and just kinda let it melt. I just wanna get it stirred up really good. So I'm going to call for a cup. This is about a cup, I just shredded it and I have a little bit more in a bag I'm gonna put on top. I turned it off, I'm gonna cover it and let it melt. Hey y'all, it's all done. I was planning to make salad and didn't get around to it, but there it is. Amen. Welcome to tonight's what's for dinner. We're gonna be doing something pretty easy, but I just thought I'd share it Here in Texas something that is popular is um, stuff bake or are Okay, hold on. Let me start over Hey y'all welcome to tonight's what's for dinner. I thought I'd show my face and tell y'all what I'm gonna make It's very easy, but it's something that is kind of um, popular in Texas and it is um, stuffed baked potatoes. Like a lot of barbecue places sell baked potatoes and you can get it stuffed with like chopped beef or you know, different barbecue meat. So I had bought some meat for in Sam's. It was the Jack Daniels uh, like pulled pork meat. It came in a package, so I had one in the freezer. So I don't have the original packaging. So I'm gonna heat that up in a minute, but first, I have my instant pot out and we're gonna make baked potatoes in there. And then we will warm up that meat. I will put that meat on my potato. I'll show y'all how I do it. The kids, I don't know if they will or not, but I love going to the barbecue places and getting stuffed baked potatoes. They're so good. So if you haven't ever tried it, here's a, an easy way to make one. So I'm gonna turn y'all around and show you what I'm gonna do. Okay y'all, I have my instant pot. I'm going to add one cup of water in the bottom. And then we're gonna take our little metal trivet things and set it in there. And then I'm going to bring you over here where I have my potato setting. Okay, I have three potatoes. I scrub these really well. And we're just going, they're just russet potatoes. I'm just gonna poke, I don't know, four or five little toms in there. We're gonna take these three and we're gonna head back over to our Instant Pot. Now that we've got them all poked and cleaned and all that good stuff, we're going to place the three of these because tonight it's just me, Courtney, and Adrian. Bryce is at band practice and my husband is working. So that's all I'm gonna make. These are pretty good size. We're gonna go ahead and put our lid on. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm going to set this on Sorry, high pressure for 20 minutes. Always end up messing around and not knowing what to do. So, yeah. So, high pressure for 20 minutes. And then we're going to let it natural natural release for 10 minutes. So, there it goes. I will come back when we have it done. 
Okay. All right, y'all. I'm about to heat up this meat. This is the pulled pork. The um, Jack Daniels pulled pork. I'm going to come in a little package like this. I'm going to empty it out. I don't remember how long I'm supposed to heat it up because uh, the package was thrown away. But anyways, I'll figure that out. Um, I'm going to open this up and just pour it in here. It was frozen. There might still be a little bit in here that's frozen, but once we get it into the microwave, I think it'll be okay. Oh, I didn't do a very good job, y'all, at opening this. My hands are clean, just so you know. So I'm just gonna have to kind of dig some of this out. And we used the other package uh, when we first got it and made just sandwiches out of it. It was really good. The kids all liked it. So, actually, let me wash my hands real quick. And so I'm just gonna kind of break this up a little. It's not really frozen now. So I just took it out of the freezer this morning, stuck it straight into the refrigerator. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put, I have one of those little covers you put on food in the microwave. And I'm gonna start out like at a cup, two minutes. I'll check it and see. I'll probably do it like two minutes, one minute. Just do it a minute at a time until it's done. So I'll let you know total how long it took. And in the meantime, I'm gonna cut up some um, green onions, because I love these on potatoes. Courtney does too. Um, I have had the chicken, not the chicken. Y'all, I'm so like scatterbrained. Okay, the potatoes have completed the 20 minute cook time. Now it is just, um, I'm just gonna let it uh, natural release for 10 minutes. We're up to five minutes. So we have five more minutes to go on that. So hopefully I'll have this done about the time the potatoes are done. Y'all, I thought it was recording and I wasn't. Well, anyways, I let this natural release actually for about 12 minutes. It was supposed to be 10. Um, and I just kind of poke the potatoes and they feel like they're done. So I sure hope they are. And so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put these in some plates. Uh, and I will show you when I make mine up how I make a stuffed potato. Okay, y'all, I've got my food here. I put a little slice in here. Ooh, it's hot. I was trying to squeeze it, but that didn't quite work. Mm -hmm. You know what, my potato is not really, okay. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna peel this off and I'll come back. Okay, y'all, I peeled it and I just went ahead and chopped it up. So now I'm gonna start with putting some butter in here. Yeah. And butter. get the butter all in there. Some sour cream, okay. put like that. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and put salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna go ahead and throw some green onions on here. Yeah, me and Cordy, kind of mix we put up. A1 sauce on it. Yeah, our kids, I don't know what's up. They like A1 on their potatoes. You don't know what's up? I don't know why y'all You don't right, know what but, you're missing out on. Well, I'm about to put meat on mine, so y'all don't know what you're missing out on. Okay. So now I'm gonna take some of the meat. Um, um, um. Yeah. And since this already has barbecue sauce Hold on that. it, I'm just gonna put it right on top. Sometimes when I go and get it at the places, I put the meat on and then I add extra barbecue, but I think this is gonna be good. I'm just gonna kinda start out with this much. And there, look at that, y'all. Just a tad, just a little tad more on top. Oh, and I forgot the best part. I forgot the cheese, y'all. And then I'm gonna throw some cheese on top like that, y'all. Mmm. That's gonna be good. So I'll let you know what I think in just a second. I gotta take a picture of this. Yeah. Okay, Courtney did her okay, potato. So my potato has butter, A1, green onions, and cheese, and then I made a little and you said A1, slider yeah. with barbecue on it. So really how does it taste? Amazing. It's good, or like mm -hmm. the kids say, it's bussin'. Bussin'. Okay. I don't say that. That's weird. Okay. So Adrian, did what do you have? Did you put mm -hmm. just A1 or did you put barbecue in it? I put nothing. You just put what? A1 and... A1 is barbecue sauce, Mom. Not really. Steak sauce. But anyways, what else did you put it's on yours? It's weird liquid. Is it good? I guess so. Or hot. <laughs> I'm full. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyways, here's mine. Um, it's got the meat, of course, everything I showed y'all, and it's so good. This is so easy to make. I mean, basically, 30 minutes. Well, 30 minutes plus the time it takes to come to pressure. So I would say maybe a total of like 40 minutes or so. My mama loves baked potatoes. Mm-hmm. Mm. I love baked 
y'all so good so good and if you ever i don't know like i said i don't know if this is at every barbecue place or if it's a texas but thing texas or what is known for their baked potatoes and their brisket <laughs> well right i don't know about baked potatoes but like brisket and barbecue but anyways and their tex-mex yummy i have been to mexico and i like the mexican food but i prefer the tex-mex <laughs> But anyways, if you go to barbecue places and they have this stuffed baked potato and you've never had one, I encourage you to try it. I like mine with chopped beef. This one's pulled pork, but still good. Whatever. That's the best, best text. Mix. She's a mess. <laughs> hey y'all, tonight we're going to be making a slow cooker pulled pork roast in the crock pot. But we're going to start out by um, browning all the sides of this roast that I have and I thought I was recording and I forgot to tell y'all what the seasonings are. I will have the recipe linked down below but I also have the the ingredients going across the screen. So I mixed up all of those ingredients that you see there the seasonings and I rubbed it on all the sides of this roast and then I was browning it in my skillet in some oil. So once we get it all browned, which I was having a lot of trouble, you can see here on the video, but once I get that all done, then we're going to move on to the crock pot. And I should have been using my cast iron skillet, but I'm so scared to use it on this new cooktop. Let me know if y'all have a glass top cooktop and still use your cast iron skillet. Oh my word, it just barely fits in here. I left this part in so y'all could see how hard I was fighting to get this roast inside of there. I probably should have used a bigger crock pot. <laughs> okay, y'all. This has a bone in it, so that's why I think it's harder to get it to go down in there. So, the last thing we're going to do is I have one onion that I chopped up. I'm just kind of wiping this off. I have one onion that I diced up. We're just going to put that all over the top. It says to cook this on low for eight hours. I may end up turning it on high because mine's a lot bigger. So I'm just going to kind of see. I'm going to start it out on low. Oh my. Is this going to be bad, honey? It barely fits in there. Like the lid is touching it. Okay. Ugh. Okay, y'all, it's really full. So we're gonna we're gonna let it cook and see what happens. Okay, y'all, this ended up taking almost twelve hours to cook because this was a like twice the size of the roast that they were cooking in the recipe that I found. But now, I mean, I already pulled the bone out, but it's just falling, I mean, it's just falling apart. So my husband, we're actually, he's eating a little bit of it now, but it's like 8.30, so <laughs> this will be for lunch and supper tomorrow, so.